Today we have a pretty big announcement, but first we're gonna to go to a local market to pick out and try some Sai Ua, which is local Northern Thai sausage, and a few other foods we can find in the market. Then we have something to share with you at the end of the video a little bit later. We are officially, make sure to stick around to find out our thoughts on the Northern sausage and also what we have to tell you. Let's go. Hi, my name is Josie and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I can't believe I've been here in Chiang Mai for five months and I have not had a Northern Thai sausage yet. So make sure you stay tuned and see my reaction and how I like it. It is quite quiet at the moment and I like it that way. So let's have a look through here eat some Thai sausage. Okay, so we had just entered the market and we saw there was a couple of things of sticks of pork or beef or something. And then there was this lady who was selling uh, sort of chopped up, what is this? Crispy pork? Sort oh, of? I don't know. Soft crispy pork <laughs> cut up already in a bag. It was a uh, sisip baht, which is 40 baht. Um, so a little bit on the expensive side, but I think it's gonna be really nice. And she really liked our Thai. <laughs> she asked if we wanted any like sticky rice and I was like, my ow, can She was like, ooh. <laughs> so let's try some of this first and we haven't eaten today, so this should be really good. <laughs> oh, Bit sweet? I feel like a bit a of sweet. A little bit sweet. Yeah. You know what, it kind of reminds me of like jerky. Yeah, cool. Not as like obviously dry as jerky, but, oh, that's, that's really nice. Okay, I like this. Mmm. <laughs> that's really good. The like juice and the flavor is really nice. It's not crispy, like the outside, isn't crispy, but it's like sort of lukewarm and juicy. I like it. Mmm. That's almost like a cold cut. Like a cold cut of like, yeah, yum. I can eat this. Don't eat it all. I want some. <laughs> So this market actually reminds me a lot of Siri Watana Market in Santanam. I think it's just the way all of the like benches are set up with everything like that. But it's really cool because this one's a little bit more local. It's a little bit further out than Chiang Mai. So I don't think you'd really able to kind of get here if you didn't have a bike. Um, but it's a lot more local. It's a bit of a weird time in the afternoon. So it might just be quiet because of that. I'm sure this is so busy in the mornings. Um, but right now it's quite quiet. It gives me a lot more time to sort of have a look at things and see what there is as well. I'm on the hunt for a Milo, some Milo ice. So let's have a look and see if we can get one. I love my Milo ices. <laughs> trying to find some Milo. <laughs> so I Milo. So I went outside of the market um, and I found this like another market thing, but it just seems to be full of chairs and seating for some sit down food. So they have them lined on the outside and I found a stall that does drinks. So I'm just looking and they have Milo. So I'm so excited. Let's go get one. So it's super local here. Um, I was so proud of myself because I ordered some Pad Kapow just then and I was like, Pad Kapow? And she's just like, moo. Mm. And I was like, yes, chai, because that means pork. I learned that. Anyway, I've been here too long. <laughs> I should know that already. But we have some really cool Pad for Power. Now, like I said, when you come out of sort of like the main tourist areas, the price is a lot, obviously, more local. It's a lot better. This is probably one of the cheapest Pad for Power we've had. So it was 45 baht with the egg. Um, usually when we go in Niman, it's anywhere from like 65 baht-ish with the egg. So you get a little bit of a cheaper price the more local you go, usually. But let's see if it's uh, any good. Oh, but first, let's have me have my Milo. <laughs> this was 20 baht, so that's really good for a Milo. Yeah. That's a good Milo. Oh, that's a good Milo. I will never get over Milo. I've been here for six months. I'm pretty sure that's half the reason my clothes don't fit me anymore because I just have a Milo all the time. This is delicious. Let's try this Pad Kapow and then we're gonna get on and find the Northern Thai sausage. So I have the Pad Kapow here and we did say uh, Nid Noi Spice, so I can say a little bit of chili. I'm just gonna get some of the Pad Kapow with the egg and the rice on my fork. All right, let's try this. I'm a little bit nervous from the chili. Oh, it's tasty. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit spicy. <laughs> The flavor's really good, it's quite juicy. If I had this when I first came to Thailand, I think I would have cried again, because I did cry on my first day when I ate something spicy. So, <laughs> it's actually pretty easier now that I've had the really, really spicy one. <laughs> Plus they gave us this side of soup, which I never actually eat or drink. Do you? Like, do you actually eat or drink it? Because I feel bad taking it. I never drink it or eat it, so. What do you do with it? Yeah, what do you do with it? Do you eat it like like on the side with the, with the spoon, or do you mix it in? I don't know, tell me what to do with this soup. <laughs> Okay, so we're done with the Pad Krapau and we're back in the, like, I guess, normal market. And that was a delicious Milo, so we had a little sustenance break. Now we're back here and we're on the hunt for this Northern Thai sausage. So 
everywhere looking up and down these things like I said this really does remind me of Sura Watana there must be heaps of these local markets everywhere I think there's one sort of in every suburb kind of thing oh is that it yeah. oh it's it what is it banana mm -hmm. Oh, sausage. sausage. Get that, oh. that as well. Get that as well. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I have that one as well. One. Okay. So I have no idea what this is meant to taste like or anything like that. It's Sai Ua, which is like a northern Thai sausage around like Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Mei Hong Song area, and then like border of Myanmar as well. So we got about eight or nine pieces here, or maybe eight for about 40 baht. And then we also got our special little something as well. So stick around to find out what we got after that, but it also in includes the sausage. So let's see. It does smell very interesting so just to say i don't actually like sausages <laughs> so this is a bit of a funny thing for me to taste i think that's why i've gone like five months in chiang mai without having one so let's just have a go it does smell it smells very like herby like there's also like obviously herbs in there or something let's go oh no it's spicy oh no okay i don't think it's gonna be spicy <laughs> Definitely no, then. Okay, there's it's a, so there's spicy. A, there's a milk tea place right there. Do you want to use some money right and get milk tea? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, it's lots of there's lots of herbs in there. So I can see like I think they're onions or something like that. If you know what's actually in Saiua, let me know in the comments below. But it looks like it looks very homemade. It looks like they've made it themselves. Um, and it's got like the like obviously chilies, little bits of like onions, herbs, and then the casing is quite prominent. So it looks like it's been like hand rolled or something like that. It's a weird like yellow mustardy sort of colour as well. It's not like the brown sausage like you expect, but... Yeah. There's so much flavour and then here comes the spice. <laughs> you get about three seconds of amazing flavour and then your tongue's on fire. Which is so consistent with food from this sort of area. <laughs> I like it. I could eat all this. I just need a drink as well. <laughs> now we have to try the next thing, which I'm a bit worried about. So I think there's sausage cooked inside this banana leaf and it smells exactly like coal so obviously he's like cooked over an open fire or something like that we've gotten some things from thailand before that are like this they're normally filled with like taro or banana or something like that okay so we've just opened up the banana leaf and open them all up to reveal this like the paste of the sausage so this is what the stuffing would be without the casing i would assume so it'd be the inside of what's in the sausage and i can still see chili in this so i might only have like a really small bite hmm yeah okay now it starts getting spicy. It does taste really good. You know what? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it just tastes really good, okay? I'm done. <laughs> so make sure to leave your thoughts on the Thai sausage, northern Thai sausage, down in the comments below. And if it's even spicy for you, I think it's just me. It's, I think it's just me. <laughs> but just a friendly reminder, we do have a big announcement coming in the video now. So make sure you stay tuned. You're going to want to know what this is. And I'll see you then. It's been six months now since we packed up our house at home. We said goodbye to our dog. We got on a plane. We traveled across the world, across the seas, and basically moved to Thailand. But now, our visa is up. So we are officially leaving Thailand, but not for long. <laughs> I think that's the most important thing to remember is we aren't going for very long. What does that mean? What's next? Well, we are heading out tomorrow on a plane um, to a destination that isn't Thailand <laughs> for the first time in six months. We've yeah. been on lots of planes in Thailand domestically, but this will be the first one that we go to that is international. And from there, we do have a couple of other plans in place, but nothing's actually set in stone. But the thing that is set in stone is that we do have to come back to Thailand. Michael has a few appointments here, so he won't be gone for long. Um, but we do have to leave for a while, explore a couple of other countries or a couple other places, and then we have to come back to Thailand as well. Not that we have to, we want to. We want to, yeah. <laughs> we want to but that's sort of the plan. And then once we come back, we can obviously get a new visa. Before we came to Thailand, we thought six months was a perfect amount of time to see everything we wanted to see. Probably a bit too long even. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't enough. <laughs> thought we'd see it all, but we haven't. So we definitely have to come back and do more. And I know a lot of you are telling me in the comments, go here and do that. And we have all intentions of doing Doing yeah. that we just kind of ran out of time this time <laughs> just with the rainy season and everything like that it wasn't every time we try to leave to go somewhere like Pai or Isan or it started raining um, so I think it's not worth 
doing that when you can't get the most out of the trip. Um, we have gone places before and we've gone and we've spent 80% of the time inside because it was raining and then we couldn't do the things we wanted to do or film the things we wanted to film or experience the things that we wanted to experience. So I think it would be worth it coming back um, after rainy season and being able to do things properly like the way Thailand deserves to be shown if yeah. that makes sense. You'll probably always be relating things back to Thailand and, and the experiences here because this is kind of our second home and it's as I said the first place that you've been that isn't a western country. No matter what you guys were the people who believed in me from the start and this is where everything started for me so there's no doubt that we'll be back and be back many many times okay so obviously there's a whole bunch of things that we haven't done yet or we didn't have time to get to and we definitely want to do that but i think that it's important to sort of maybe like share our favorite parts about what we have done in thailand since we've been here for so long yeah. what was yours a few things really early on in bangkok going to the port fc game and going through kong toy market you guys know i love football josie knows i love football but the whole vibe to that was so different to the Chiang Mai games that I'm used to. And then my second favorite thing um, was actually the first trip that we did outside of the two major cities we were in, which was Chiang Rai. I just had a really, really good time in Chiang Rai and seeing the Golden Triangle. I really liked the trip to Chai, Chai Lai or or Orchard? Orchid? Orchid. Where we saw like the <laughs> elephants and we stayed there overnight and we woke up to the elephants in the morning and we fed them and we went, We met one of the Mahuts tiger and he's been so cool. He's been sending us updates of the little baby elephant Ronaldo that we met, played with him in the water and everything like that. And he that was, was shooting just, water at you with his nose. That was just like yeah. the coolest experience for me. I think that's like just Thailand in general. I think that I've learned so much from being in Thailand. I just want to thank you all for for subscribing so early and, and to <laughs> my channel and to see my adventures here in Thailand and where I started and you guys will always be the first that believed in me and suppressed that subscribe button and no matter where I go in the world I'll always remember Thailand as where this all started for me and what you guys have done for me um, but like I said it's not a goodbye it's just a we'll see you very shortly yeah in pretty like much. a month too for the first one yeah not that long away yeah. actually about a month <laughs> but then you'll be seeing other countries from now basically yeah. it's actually quite scary for me to leave Thailand because it's the only place that I've been so make sure you keep watching my videos I'll be back to Thailand but I will see new things and I think that's what life's about so I understand that some of you may leave me <laughs> I hope that you don't I hope that you watch my travels I hope you watch food and culture and me experiencing all those things in another place um, and remembering I will be back in Thailand I'll pretty much I think always come back to Thailand but as for where we're going next I hate to do this to you but you'll just have to wait for the next one Make sure you do like and subscribe. Make sure you leave in the comments below what countries you want me to go to, where you think we're going as well. Leave that down below. And I'll talk to you in the comments again. Thank you so much for all of this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.